What's up everyone hidden in plain sight? Today we're going to learn how to make a camouflage pattern similar to this one in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just start a new Illustrator file. I'm going to name mine Camo. For the width and the height I'll choose a thousand pixels. You can change that here and RGB is fine. Alright now that we have the artboard open I'm going to get rid of my black fill. Just click on that stroke, I mean the black stroke. I'm going to click that and click none and for the fill I'm going to choose this dark green. And now uh, I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I just want to fill this uh, this artboard. So I'm just going to click in the artboard um, so I can manually type in the dimensions. Just going to choose a thousand by a thousand. Uh, make sure it's unconstrained. Okay, um, let's center this up in your align panel. Make sure you're aligned to artboard and just align the horizontal and vertical centers. Okay, now that we have this, uh, we're just going to apply a uh, Photoshop effect in order to just kind of give us a, uh, a randomized pattern. Um, so what you want to do is go to the Photoshop effects here in the effect drop down, and it's artistic, and sponge is the one that you want to choose. Zoom out of here. And as you can see, it already kind of looks like a pretty cool camouflage pattern. Um, you can play with these settings a bit. Um, I found like the it comes out best with them all just cranked all the way up. Um, the definition you get a little bit less contrast, um, and it's easier to separate it later if you do this. And yeah, smoothness as well. Like that's pretty cool, but I, I just kind of like uh, the look of this. I just think it looks uh, cleaner. Um, so yeah, just gonna click OK. Um, takes a little bit to apply the effect. Um, you know, if you're not drawing and stuff, you know, you kind of got to wait for the computer to do it. So, you know, it does ultimately save time, but yeah, real, this is the fun part. There we go. All right. So this is kind of what we want to see. And, uh, right now, uh, we need to kind of be able to manipulate all the colors. Like we can't really click in and do much with it. So what we're going to do, um, we need to do an image trace, but first we'll have to rasterize this. So we'll have to turn it into an image. So go to object and click rasterize. Um, all this is fine. I choose uh, white just because it uh, does the rasterization quicker. Um, so yeah, now that we have that, let's go back here to our image trace drop down. And I'm going to choose three colors. And uh, again, this takes a, a little bit. It's just uh, again separating it all, but it yeah makes it e makes it easier for us. Um, should have should have written more for this. Um, it's 420. Blaze it or it was 420 two minutes ago. Fuck. Um, yeah. Okay. It's okay. Oh, curve fitting now. That's yes. Yeah, that's fine. We can just wait on that. Um, okay. Great. It's done now. Um, so now that it's done, just click expand. That's going to expand it all. So all of this is separate now, but it's still grouped. So go to object and ungroup. And uh, yeah, just make sure you can't ungroup it any further. Now we can go to this white and get rid of it. And zooming in, um, I think I want to keep this like lighter green. I like kind of uh, the texture of that. So I'm gonna click the dark green and I'm gonna go to select same fill color so it gets all of the dark green bits and I'm going to delete it. Okay, now I can highlight all of this and just go to object and group. So now I have all of this as its own separate color that I can play around with. Uh, I am going to go to the rectangle tool and just draw another uh, rectangle to fit the uh, to go into the background because yeah I do like that green and uh, so now we can uh, kind of go here I mean that's a cool pattern as is um, I like to kind of make it a bit bigger so I'm just gonna scale this up uh, holding option and shift I'm gonna scale it up from the center so you kind of see it like that and yeah I like that a bit more and I'm gonna just uh, use the direct selection to kind of highlight all of the bits that are outside of the artboard and I'm just going to get rid of them. Um, this doesn't do anything. It's just uh, just kind of gets rid of the noise so your pattern's easier to see and you don't get lost in it. Um, yeah, I like that. 
And uh, now I'm going to select the, the light green again. And uh, I'm going to make a copy of this. So you can just go to Edit, Copy. Then I'm going to Paste in Place. So now I have a second one. So as you can see, um, yeah, this, I just turned it to that tan. And I'm going to scale this one up kind of like I did earlier, just like that. I'm going to put this uh, in the back. Um, the way you do that is just arrange. You can bring it to front, so it's in the front, but I want to send it to back. And it's going to go behind the green. So I'm going to go to arrange again and bring forward until it's in front. So yeah, just like that. And uh, again, just going to use my direct select to get rid of some of this stuff. And nice. Yeah, that's uh, kind of what I'm wanting to see. Now you can go in and, you know, say I wanted to change that later. You can go ahead and change it to some of these, you know, just uh, kind of play around with it. Um, yeah, make your own uh, different designs. Uh, I kind of like the look of that. I think that looks cool. Um, so now that I have this um, the way that I want it, I'm just going to highlight all of them. And then I'm just literally going to pull it into the swatches panel here. And that's going to make it into a pattern. So as you see now, I can draw a circle and I can fill it with this. And uh, we're just going to uh, kind of show you a way where I'm going to show you that I don't have anyone with me. Uh, so I'm just going to paste my um, my logo into this artboard. Oh, oh, there we are. Okay, and just using the direct selection, I'm going to click this red just so that's highlighted. And now I'm going to click my pattern, and as you can see, it's uh, giving me a problem. Um, you know, uh, which is fine. Uh, I kind of wanted this to happen. The way you can move the pattern inside of uh, the shape is hold the tilde key that's uh, the the key that's beside the one on your keyboard usually under the escape key and just click and drag and you'll see that you can move it from here and yet yeah, still a little bit off uh, this circle is bigger than this square so the way that I can fix that I just want to kind of scale up the uh, the pattern within it. Just, I'm just going to hit S. You can see this uh, scale tool is what gets uh, highlighted. And just double click. And uh, make sure all of this is not selected. So deselect transform object, deselect scale strokes and effects. So you just have transform patterns. And yeah, make sure your preview is on. And now you can see that I can scale this um, up or down as much as I want. Um, I kind of like it scaled up pretty large like this. I think that's a I think that's a cooler effect. And uh, yeah, just gonna click OK. Um, and now I can, you know, I can edit other stuff within this, and you know, just kind of make it, you know, more f for uh, whatever purpose that I want. Um, yeah, and that's a that's a cool way to uh, yeah make a design and right on cue. Um, didn't charge, so I'm just gonna end the video there. Uh, yeah, make some cool patterns, make some cool logos, and uh, yeah, show me what you got. Thanks for watching. Bye.